Where did you get those shoes, bro? Like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Let me explain. Here it goes. A's for ambition. B, what I want to be. C, past the situation that's in front of me. What is up, you guys? It's Joseph Arden. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. So, for today's video, I thought I would do something that, like, you guys always find me doing, which is just doing weird stuff with art. But the other day, I saw something I just couldn't ignore. Some guy was using a 3D pen printer. Or like a 3D pen, I don't know what you call it anymore. But it's one of those pens that like you can draw 3D figures with. I'm sure you've probably seen it everywhere on the internet. So I was like, hmm. I wonder if I could do a custom sneaker with that. Here it is, the 3D pen, intelligent 3D pen. I got off of Amazon, it was like $30. Super cool if I did a video where I made a custom sneaker with a 3D pen. So that's what we're gonna do today. So if you wanna see me maybe possibly ruin my Air Force Ones with a 3D pen, please keep watching. I'm nervous because I've never done this before. Let's just get right into the unboxing and play with our little 3D pen here. I'm pretty sure this kit's meant for kids, but I mean, who's gonna stop me? All right, let's go. So starting off, when you open the box, it's just the standard box, nothing that interesting to look at. And then you peel it open and you get to the cool stuff. So it's just a standard set with gray filament, clear filament, a weird USB thing. I'm not sure what you call it, but someone tell me in the comments, an adapter, which you plug into the wall, I think, I hope, I don't know. A mini spatula, I'm sure that's not really what it's called, but for the sake of this channel, we're gonna call it a mini spatula. And finally, your 3D pen, which looks good. I mean, I paid $30 for it, so like, who knows what I could have gotten in the mail. Like, I just hope this thing just doesn't blow up in my face because that has happened before with like, not to me, but like other people. That has a bunch of other useless crap I'm not gonna use, so we're just gonna continue and skip all that. Starting out, I was pretty like cocky and I thought I could figure it all out in one go. But as you can see here, this is like watching a kid get the training wheels on their bike and they have no clue what to do. So I was just playing around and experimenting. Um, truthfully, it's like playing with hot glue, but like harder or thicker, if that makes any sense. So I decided to try out a stencil and I chose the Nike swoosh, not a stencil, a shape, which was the Nike swoosh because it was just on my shoebox sitting around. But like, what's going on here? Like, what is happening? I'm, I'm not sure, but... I tried to like be cool and fancy and that didn't work out and I decided to just go ahead and like peel this off and we're gonna skip this and move on to our first box attempt so I thought I could do like what they do in the videos online and just do it in one go but like look at it's not it's not happening and I just ended up with a weird pyramid so we're gonna do attempt number two and for this attempt, I decided to work a little bit smarter and make four separate squares and then in the end combine them to make one box, which is a bit deceiving because in the videos online, you can just do it all at once, but maybe I don't have the skill or I got duped or it's just not really possible and they're all lying to us. Who knows? But yeah, we have something that looks like a box. I'm sorry. My squares are super wonky. I didn't measure them out. That's completely my fault, but you know... We didn't come here to make a box. We came here to just test it out and have fun. So like, don't judge me too harshly. And so yeah, that's the box. And I decided since I've already done the box, I should just try out the pyramid. So this is my first pyramid attempt. The pyramid, I did a square based pyramid and I thought I could just like do it all in one go again. Like those Eiffel Tower videos I was just talking about, but not, not that kind, but you know. <laughs> Now we're on to our gray filament, which has like the same consistency. So we're just going to start because I've really never used this tool before. It decided it would just be smarter to just go along the shape of the logo that was already there. And to create this like kind of spider webby effect, I just went back and forth super quickly with the 3D pen and that really worked out for some reason. And it gave the effect I wanted. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen because I've never used this tool before, but it ended up looking great. Like that's 
kind of what I wanted and it, it worked out so I'm happy like I can't complain and now we have our sneaker like this isn't really a tutorial this is just showing you guys what you can do with this if you want like a boring basic like sneaker painting video this is not it like go find something else but anyways this was fun okay you guys I was shocked like I didn't expect it to look this good but look at this like this looks super cool I'm just, I'm blown away like I the first thing I thought when I saw this was like I have to make a pair for myself what if I did this in white there's just so many options I've never been this excited about a custom I did before but this just turned out so good and I want to make a pair for myself so if you guys want more 3d printing videos guess what you're getting them anyway because I am obsessed flexible too so like if you're walking you don't have to worry about it breaking it looks so cool like it, like when I if I walk up to someone wearing these I'd be like where did you get those shoes bro like that is the coolest thing I've ever seen I'm gonna link this pen because it did a good job it did what it was, set, it was supposed to do and besides the fact that like I couldn't do like real 3d shapes and figures or whatever I mean who cares this looks so cool like what the heck I'm sorry guys I might seem like I'm too excited I, I'm really caffeinated today and I'm just can't believe how cool this turned out I want to make like 30 pairs now so if you want a pair hit me up always do new things because who knows they might turn out decent so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if this is your first time here you might as well like just subscribe like what do you don't waste your time like you you came this far to not subscribe like, what the heck <laughs> I'm just kidding all right guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye Niggas, they inspire me to love them. G is past go with ignite the cash flow. When eights is put your heart in, whenever's your last hope.